you can hear my voice. That means we're working. It's working good. Oh, for f sakes, man. Give me some lights. All right. <laughs> All right. Today is Monday, January 25th. It's about 5 p.m. Let's get some coffee. All right, we got about six days to make this video. So first, we want to write a song. So we have our coffee, and we have a piano, and um, and I wanted to include a walk down bass. I love these things, and I've I've just I've been using them almost all the time now. It goes like this. And it walks down. So it's just the D chord, and then that root note drops down to the C, and then drops down again to B, and then even further down, B flat, A sharp. That's my like intro or verse, maybe probably the verse, or uh, just sort of a beginning part, and it sounds a lot like a whole bunch of other songs. Just like um, I even reference the Green Day song, where it's like, my mind is set on overdrive. So right there, you're like, oh, you can't do that. Of course you can. Chord progressions. Those aren't copyrighted. You can't copyright a chord progression. That's insane. Otherwise, there would only be one person with all the blue songs to their names. So chord progressions. Don't worry about them if it sounds like something else. It even sounds like another Beatles song where it's... Dear Prudence Won't you come out to play? Guess what? I'm stealing the Beatles. No, I'm not, dude. I'm just getting the chords down. So we'll have the left hand do that, and then we'll do a melody with the other hand, which is the hard part. That's that's where all the creative juices come in. This is the part that takes forever, writing a melody. Writing a melody, writing melody. That sounds like anything I I haven't heard anything like that before. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not pulling it from something, am I? I don't know. Boy, that sounds really dissonant and odd. Kind of liked it. I don't know. Where do you go after that, though? Try walking up, like moving a note, note. Instead of down, we're going to go up, but change the fifth up to a... Uh, and keep going. Keep going. That's interesting. That's that's building a lot of tension right there. That's building a lot of tension where it's like I'm gonna spill coffee everywhere, aren't I? Water, watch out. We got some tension. The chord wants to resolve. It wants to not be so crazy, so this is everything I've got so far. I've been working on it for a while. what we've got so far. Maybe I can record something. Maybe I, I can come back and record some more stuff. I don't know. You know, sometimes you just need to clear your mind and clear the dirt off of your car. 
when you repeat the same phrase over and over and over and over again with the same chords and the same melody, uh, you just need to get out. Today is Tuesday, January 26, 2016, and I'm trying to translate the piano onto guitar. There's some very weird chords that I've never used before. <laughs> first walk up part, which will be D augmented fifth and sixth sixth and then minor seven sounds about right bum, bum, bum. Of something that maybe this would be this the, the whole beginning the whole first couple intros would just be a uh, um, a sort of uh, nice and easy uh, slope to climb until you get like the climax of the song or actually maybe even just the chorus of the song or maybe the bridge leads to this chorus that's just big and fun and happy while this dreary thing just builds up to it reminds me of uh, 50 ways to leave your lover how it's so weird and sad at the beginning but then it's like just hop on the bus Gus you know it's just like it's like what this is this is a weird song oh it's it's happy okay I can dig it I can dig it I am from the 60s made the ending simple and fun and easy to play. It's totally contradicting the beginning, which is incredibly dense and complex and walking up and really uneasy and tension building. And then at the end, it's just let loose and have fun. That's pretty, sounds pretty fun to me. I think I might go something like that for this week's song. I don't know. This is kind of fun to think about, huh? Show. Time to go play a show in Hudson, Wisconsin. Now that I've composed most of the music of this song, I'm going to record a demo so I can listen to it over and over again and come up with some lyrics, possibly. So I'm going to take the output of this piano and then plug it into a mixer, which is then going to go into my laptop to record the audio. So what I did here was I, I split up the piano pieces, the slow parts, and then the guitar just plays the faster parts. And then I did that, I just play the piano piece twice and I play the guitar parts like so. I'll be listening to this in the car. I'll put it on my phone so I can, I can plug it in wherever I go and I'll listen to it if I take a shower or something like that just to get an idea of what the song is going to sound like. If I can come up with lyrics, that's the tough part. If, that will be really helpful uh, to listen to this over and over again and come up with something uh, 
that I don't forget. <laughs> so if I sing the same thing over and over again, that's a good sign that I remembered it. It's memorable. All right, so I'm going to listen to the song over and over and over again and try to come up with some lyrics. So, uh, well, here goes nothing. It's driving through the country, riding through the gun, riding through the forest, get a little wealth from here. The world appears dark and cold and lost. Ah, when your friends have all grown and you feel double crossed, just remember a stone rolling gathers no moss. Take a load off your mind and take a ride and let's get lost. The world appears dark and cold and lost And when your friends have all grown and you feel double crop Just remember a stone rolling gathers no more Take a load off your mind, take a walk and get lost all right, so what we got so far is the verse, the beginning piano part is going to be When the world appears dark and you're thrown for a loss When your friends have all grown and you feel double-crossed Just remember a stone rolling gathers no moss Take a load off your mind, take a ride and get lost so basically what I'm saying is when life gets you down, hey, don't worry about it, man. It's just a, it's just a fun ride, you know. Go. Take a ride and, and get lost. Don't stand around in one place for a while. Keep on moving like a rolling stone gathers no moss. Don't be pigeonholed if uh, life gets you down. You know, there's there's plenty of world out there for you to see. Tumble down Main Street from a leopard skin car seat. Say hello to the concrete. I'm entirely missing the point. He's trying to paint a picture for some reason. You jump out of a car. You, you've gone somewhere new. Entirely missing the point. <laughs> I don't know why. You'll see why I put, I'm entirely missing the point. The mayor is complacent, though there's water in his basement. The mason poured the pavement, but he's failing to fill the joint. I just thought of like an angry mayor who has a, a leaky basement and the, the mason, the person who like constructed his, his uh, building is, is failing to fill the joint. And I used that ending part. He's failing to fill the joint. I'm entirely missing the point. I used that in the second part. Rock and roll, quality control, it takes a toll on my heart and soul. Rock and roll, don't be pigeonholed, got a long way to go on this totem pole. Now I'm really just, really just writing about writing music now. Really memorable, I think. So that will be the chorus or the hook. Rock and roll, quality control, that might even be the title of this song. When the world appears cold and you're down on your luck, when your friends all have gigs and you've spent your last buck, when you find yourself stuck in the muck in your truck, when you're trying to rhyme but you don't give a hoot, when the world is bringing you down and you're feeling down, you're down on your luck, and your friends are all out. They all have gigs, uh, and you've spent your last buck, specifically when you don't have a lot of money and all your friends are out playing music or a job, maybe they're out working. A gig could be work or musical or otherwise. Just finding inspiration with this music altercation to get rid of frustration. I'm entirely missing the point. This is my occupation, singing songs across the nation to bring in a congregation, but I'm failing to fill the joint. And when you're feeling down, uh, just write a song to get rid of frustration. Not worry about the world around you, but focus on something else, like writing music for me. Um, this is my occupation, singing songs across the nation. It's literally what I do. Like, I go around and I play music to bring in a congregation, but I'm failing to fill the joint. Just like the mason, who was pouring the concrete, he was failing to fill the joints. I'm also failing to fill the joint of a, a venue. I've been, yeah, playing for five years and I still feel like I'm just beginning how to play music, how to write music, how to record, and, uh, you know, 
sometimes it, it takes a toll when you're trying to be perfect. I mean, unless you have a team of people composing the next Taylor Swift song, I mean, it's not going to be perfect. Okay, now for the next step. And maybe the final step in making a song is to record it with all of the instruments. And uh, for the most part, I'm going to be using this uh, microphone that I mentioned before for the demo. Um, it's the only condenser microphone I have, and uh, it's sort of a cheap beginner one, but it gets the job done. It puts the ideas down in a format that works. Again, I'm going to be putting that through the mixer over to the, the DAW, the digital audio workstation, and uh, just recording it and making sure the levels are good, like, oh, the guitar's too loud, bring that down. I'm gonna be doing all that with all the instruments, including an egg shaker. Um, I got drums on the keyboard, which I have to tap with on the keys. That's how I make all my drum sounds right now, is just using the keyboard. Um, acoustic guitar, um, and the piano for the beginning part. And I'm gonna throw in uh, some bass notes on, I'm gonna throw in some bass on there, so you won't be able to hear the bass through your laptop speakers or cell phone speakers. So you'll have to uh, put on headphones or actually use actual large, larger speakers. So after you make the structure of the song, the chords, and you add a melody, and you practice that for a while, you get an idea of what the song should sound like, then you write the lyrics, then you, I guess we record now. So I've got all the instruments recorded. I think it sounds pretty decent. Now I'll just show you a clip of me recording all of those instruments, which essentially will make up the next music video. So without any further ado, here is my new song, Rock and Roll Quality Control. When the world appears dark, you're thrown for a loss. When your friends have all gone and you feel double crossed, just remember a stone rolling gathers no moss and take a load off your mind, take a ride and get lost. Tumble down Main Street from a left skin car seat, say hello to the concrete. I'm entirely missing the point. The mayor is complacent, though there's water in his basement. The mason for the pavement, but he's failing to feel the joint. Rock and roll, quality control, it takes a toll on my heart and soul. Rock and roll, be pigeonholed, get a long way to go on this totem pole. When the world appears cold. Down on your luck when your friends all have gifts, when you've spent your last buck, when you find yourself stuck in the muck in your truck, when you're trying to rhyme but you don't give a hoot. I'm just finding inspiration with this music altercation to get rid of. Frustration, I'm entirely missing the point. This is my occupation, singing songs across the nation to bring in a congregation, but I'm failing to feel the joint. Rock and roll, quality control, it takes a toll on my heart and soul. Rock and roll, don't be pigeonholed, got a long way to go on this toad unfold.
hey, thanks for watching my the process of me writing a song. I've never done anything quite like this before. Uh, of course, I make all sorts of other music videos and do some comedy bits here and there, but this is sort of a, a different thing for me. And uh, if you have any like comments or, or criticism, or if you have any questions about um, the process, I'd be happy to answer them down below if you leave a comment. I know I've heard dozens of different um, you know, templates or just ways to write a song. And this is just happened to be the one that I was doing today. And you know, sometimes I write the, the melody comes first in my head and I'm just singing a weird thing. Or sometimes, you know, the uh, I just have to force myself to come up with a weird chord progression that, that gets the ball rolling like I did in, in this week's song. So I really sincerely hope you learned something or maybe gain some inspiration or just realize that writing a song isn't terribly complicated. And don't forget, keep on practicing and get out there and play. Ben made a bunch of money. Here goes! <laughs> <laughs>